hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing a what i eat in a day video i'm making a smoothie here please like comment and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video i made this smoothie as a pre-workout smoothie it's not a protein smoothie but it was delicious especially when i added the dark chocolate to it it just turned it up a notch to top it off, I just garnished it with cinnamon, nutmeg, and saffron. Here I'm just chopping up some shallots and tomatoes to add it to my pot of heated oil. Just stirring that in so that it caramelizes well simple grilled cheese, veganese cheese, and grilled. Just adding water so that my onions caramelize well. Also adding garlic and mixing that to combine and saute. And now I am just smashing my tofu and stirring that in. I'm gonna add all my seasoning now, salt, black pepper, turmeric, paprika, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and we're just stirring that in until we have this nice, beautiful yellow color. So we're just gonna plate that up with pork grilled cheese, some avocado, some tomatoes, and some orange juice. This was such a nice and refreshing breakfast. It was delicious. You know, I'm the queen of chopping, so I'm chopping my vegetables again one part diced and one part just sliced i am dicing up these four dates and this green onion in my bowl i'm gonna pour out my chicken. and i'm gonna smash that with a mason jar i find that this is the quickest way to do this to the bowl, I'm gonna add my veganese, some sriracha, some agave, and my diced onion, and dates, and green onions. To that, I'm also gonna add my garlic, and some nutritional yeast, some salt, some black pepper, some cumin, garlic powder, some paprika, and we're just gonna combine that it should have this consistency. To my pot, I already have some onions and garlic. I'm going to add my lentils to that and stir that in. Once that comes to a boil, I'm going to add my coconut milk and I'm gonna stir that and then turn down the stove and let that simmer. When it's done, it should look like this. Most of the liquid should evaporate. Here I am just putting together my sandwich. And there you have it. A delicious chickpea sandwich. And this is our delicious lentil soup. This was so good, I decided to garnish it with some sesame seeds and some green onions. good oh my gosh nothing more delicious than the sandwich like if you're wondering what to eat and you have cans of chickpea try this it was so good for dinner I'm just boiling some potatoes and to some hot oil I'm adding onion some scotch bonnet pepper and garlic then I'm gonna add my tofu I ran out of soy sauce, so I'm just adding these satchels to my pan. Stirring that in and adding agave, sriracha, and ginger powder to the mixture. Washing my potatoes and I've added some vegan cheese. Some vegan butter and some goat milk. To that I'm also adding some nutritional yeast, some salt, some pepper, 
and I'm just going to mix that in. This is going to be the binding agent to what I'm making, which is very spontaneous, and I just imagined it in my mind, and so I'm making it. So I imagined myself making some kind of like pasty lettuce wrap, and this is what it came out to look like. It was so delicious, so good. I got my good carbs, and I got my protein, and I got my vegetables. This was great. And I also end up finishing off the lentil soup. So all in all, my lunch was so good, and I enjoyed it so much, and I hope this gave you guys some meal ideas if you are vegan, trying to be vegan, or just wanting to have some good food. Thank you so much for watching again guys and have a wonderful time. Bye!